What will some wise ass ask you in the next strategy meeting? Hi folks, my name is Greg Crable and this is my daily podcast, Something I Learned Yesterday, in which I take one issue from the world of publishing and try to explain it in about three or four minutes. If you're trying to set up a customer data platform or, or any similar system that collects data about your customers, my standard advice is to start with your use cases. That is, what do you want to do? Another way to approach that issue is to ask, what do I want my reports to look like? Or what questions do I want to ask about my data? So let's start with something simple like profit per customer. You'll need some basic things like customer ID, order ID, order amount, and profit margin. But it's pretty likely that your profit margin will vary by product, so you'll need to know which products are in each order, and you'll have to have a way to calculate the net profit margin for all the products in, in that particular order. Then you'll have some complicating factors like discounts. So you need to think about where you're gonna get all that data and how you're gonna store it. Now, here's the next step. Imagine you're presenting this information at a board meeting. What hard questions are people going to ask? For example, what are the drivers of customer profitability? How can we identify and attract the most profitable customers? Are there any customer segments that we should target more heavily or ignore? How can we improve customer profitability? Can we predict long-term profitability on any given segment of customers? There's all kinds of difficult questions people might ask. So then you need to say, what data am I going to need to be able to answer these questions? Well, just as an example, you'll need recency, frequency, and velocity data for different customer segments. You want demographic information on all your customers. You might want some information on competitive factors that affect different products or different customer segments. All those things will inform how you set up your customer data platform so you can be sure you're collecting the information you need to answer the questions that you and other people are going to ask. But we're not done yet. That's just one key performance indicator. You'll need to go through the same exercise for gross margins on sales and inventory projections and profit and loss analysis and that sort of thing. But now that's great, but that's all just e-commerce. If you're a media company, you're going to worry about audience engagement, ad revenue, subscriber growth, customer satisfaction, and other things like that. For each of those, you're gonna to have to go through a similar kind of an exercise. How are you going to report on it? What data do you need for those reports? And what hard questions are you or management, your boss, somebody else, gonna ask you about those reports? The point here is that thinking ahead of time about what you're going to get out of your data, how you're gonna report on it, how you're gonna tell other people, how you're gonna make actionable analytics about your data, that's gonna inform how you structure things how you collect things, how you organize it in your customer data platform. And that's key to your success. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about setting up a customer data platform or about anything related to the media business, please give me a call. I'd love to chat with you. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.